we have start of slate pick four. It's the Sension Jet Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Let's go to the voice of the Breeders' Cup, Trevor Denman, for the call. And uh, away they go. Pomeroy's pistol bobbled a little at the start. Tamarind Hall was away well and Golden Mystery in the white cap. Now here comes Musical Romance in the red cap on the inside to join the leaders. Irish Gypsies in the red colors down at the rail. Just alongside of that comes Tar Heel Mom and Champagne Doros in there too. Tanda has to go very wide. It's only four lengths off the leaders though. Great Heart is pulling pretty hard, wants to make headway. Turbulent Descent has taken... Oh, and Turbulent Descent has checked sharply there. Turbulent Descent had to check sharply. Didn't really lose ground, but was in tight and is now four off them. Turbulent Descent going to have to go wide. Her Smile is second last, and Joel Rosario has switched last. Switches nine off the leaders. They are coming to the quarter pole, and Golden Mysteries the leader. Tamarind Hall right there, Pomeroy's pistol. Now, Turbulent Descent. Can she overcome that trouble? She's hooked four wide, but right there. Behind that comes Musical Romance. And now Switch is on the move. Her smile is running on from behind. Great Hot didn't fire today. Turbulent Descent strikes the front as they come for home. Pomeroy's pistol, her smile. Switch is closing ground on the grandstand side as well. Down at the rail, Musical Romance wide open. Turbulent Descent on the inside, Musical Romance. Musical Romance has come again. Musical Romance, Switch flying late on the outside. Musical Romance to win it. And Musical Romance has won it. Switch and her smile in a photo for second. Then Pomeroy's pistol and Turbulent Descent had a settle for fifth on the afternoon. Jockey Juan Leva rolling the dice along the pine with musical romance. Pulls off a big upset in the sentient Jet Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint. Musical romance at 20 to 1. Always loaded on the rail here, Tom. Just looking for a split. And, and you know what? Good for Juan Leva. Here's a journeyman jockey who hasn't really had a chance to ride at the Breeders' Cup. I don't even know. This might be his one of his first Breeders' Cup rides here. And a dang good one on the rail here, sweeping through. And you were talking about how the rail is the golden spot when this track dries out. And it was indeed today. And for our favorite, what a tough, tough trip for Turbo to said. Had a little trouble out of the gate, checked down the backside, was wider than anybody. You know, looking back and knowing that she hadn't started since the 6th of August, that's too much to overcome. And I have to say, uh, I, I trace my roots back to Calder Racecourse. I spent seven years down there in South Florida. One of the longtime trainers there, Bill Kaplan. Some of his biggest accomplishments when I was down there was when he had horses in the Florida Stallion Stakes Series. A Vietnam veteran who's been at it a long time. And this is a crowning accomplishment for him, Bill Kaplan winning a Breeders' Cup race. Todd, you mentioned the Princess Rooney. This is a last-minute decision to run musical romance in the Breeders' Cup, mm -hmm. and they said one of the main reasons they did that, because in the Princess Rooney, they were beaten by Sassy Image. When they found out she wasn't running the Breeders' Cup, that's when they made the decision to come here, and boy, does it pay off. And Paul, I can confirm, this was Juan Leva's first yeah. Breeders' Cup mount, and he goes one for one. Well, it just shows you, when you look at a racing form, look at Musical Romance. The Keeneland Synthetic, the Presque Isle Synthetic, the Calder Turf, the Calder Slop, the Calder <laughs> Good, the Gulf Stream, she runs on anything, she so does. it really doesn't matter. She's just a game horse, and we said earlier that we thought she had a big shot at a price in here to light up the board. She was 21 on the morning line. She's a horse that likes to run in the money. She's 21 now at 35, first, second, or third. And it looks like Switch got up for second, 5, 6, 11, 12. It is the biggest upset so far, and uh, we're just early into the championship races here at Churchill Downs for the Breeders' Cup. Musical Romance, more than a $40 winner. It is 5, 6, 11, 12. Speaking of a horse with big run, her smile was next to last early, mm -hmm. started picking off horses, and ran on for a decent third here. Well, that's another horse. Switch and her smile were last and next to last in here, Tom. So Musical Ram Romance got the trip, but... This, the, you know, the pace up front, we've seen horses coming from the outside. We've only seen one horse really on the rail earlier in the card go gate to wire. But I think you'll see more, Paul. Yeah. I mean, you know, the track is telling a tale, and it's a tale that's told many, many times before. The rail is good when this track is drying out. And the final time here for the seven furlongs, 123 and 2. What a moment here at the Breeders' Cup. Names that you might not be familiar with, all of a sudden coming to national prominence. And here you have jockey Juan Leva, four trainer Bill Kaplan, with a Florida pedigree.